box with brandy wine. So we are in my car again for a very important reason because I got a package in the mail and it's just easier to put that <laughs> the phone in my phone stand in my car so I don't have to hold it so I have both hands free so I can rip open my package. By the way, like, I love the smiley thing. It looks like it makes me think of a cyclops, although the eye's a little sideways, but it just makes me think of a cyclops. And I know what's in this package because I've only ordered one thing recently. And since this came from Amazon UK, there is only one thing it could possibly be. And I'm so excited because I've been waiting for weeks for this. It feels like weeks. Maybe it hasn't been weeks, but it feels like it. All right. So without further ado, let's get to ribbing the package, not the book. All right. We got it open. It is here. There's a paper inside. So are you ready to find out what this amazing book is that I have been waiting for with bated breath? It is Viper! And look at that. Look at the shininess. It's another reason I'm sitting here. I wanted it to shine in the sun so you could see it properly in all its beauty. Of course, you can't really see like how the color looks without the sun shining on it. It's more coppery than I was expecting. Like, I thought it was going to be gold, but I kind of like the coppery. So, I first saw this book in a... I want to say it was a fairy loot? It might have been an owl crate. It was in someone's unboxing video. And it came... Like, there was another book that came with it in their unboxing video. You can see the sides and the back. And... But this one just really, really stood out to me because it was so beautiful. Like, this cover is so striking and so shiny, and I could not stop thinking about the shininess. Yeah, I know, I'm like that crab from Moana. And so, the um, reason I couldn't stop thinking about it is because wouldn't this make a beautiful book with sprayed edges that match the goldish, bron goldish bronze that's on the book? Like, just imagine it. Just imagine the super shiny pages. If the... Uh, acrylic or spray paint or whatever I decide to use really comes out that shiny like it would be gorgeous I would even do like silver with like a bronze snake if I was good at artwork but I'm not so I would just do the sprayed edges and I couldn't stop thinking about it I had to have it and it's a book about pirates all I know about it is what's on the back because that's all I've heard from people before and I'll read it to you because it's epic sounding I think it's going to be part of a trilogy. I don't really want to find out too much about it because I don't like to know too much about the books before I read them. I like to know, just like be surprised going into them. But it says, he will make me a killer or he will have killed me. That is my destiny. 17-year-old Marianne is fated to one day become the Viper. The Viper. Uh, defender of the Twelve Isles. But the reigning Viper stands in her way. Corrupt and merciless, he prowls the seas in his warship, killing with impunity, leaving only pain and suffering in his wake. He is the most dangerous man on the ocean, and he is Marianne's father. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, okay, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I was like, wow, who's this guy she has to, like, fight? And what makes her the Viper? Apparently, it's her dad. So, you know. Uh, she was born to protect the islands, but she can fight for them. Or, but can Words. But can she fight for them if it means losing her family, her home, Yay. the boy she loves, and even her own life? Dun, dun, dun. How is she supposed to defend the Isles if she's dead? I don't know. A brave heroine, an impossible dilemma, an epic new fantasy trilogy set on the high seas. So, yeah. Epic. Epic sounding. Cannot wait to read it. It is a trilogy which means I'm going to have to buy all of them from the UK because this book does not sell in the United States. So like after seeing it for a while, I saw a post from the author and I was like, like it just looked really interesting. I've been interested in this book for a while. And when I saw their post, it prompted me to look up how to buy it and where I could find it. So I looked up Barnes and Noble and it wasn't there. And I was like, okay, the book totally exists. Like, I've seen it in print. The book exists. But it wasn't on Barnes & Noble's website. Oh, I got my son with me back there saying hey. And uh, so then I checked Amazon. And it wasn't on Amazon. And I was like, okay. 
So I searched, like, just Google, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Like, it didn't exist. So I went back on the Twitter post, and I was like, does this book sell in the United States? Or something like that? I don't know exactly how I phrased it. I think I said, is this book only available in the UK? And then I went, while I was waiting for the response, I went back and kept searching. And I don't know how it popped up, but somehow the Amazon UK uh, website popped up. And the book was on there. And it allowed me to order it. And so I ordered it. It said it wasn't going to come for a few weeks, but I'm like, you know, no biggie. I just want the book. And... I love it because it's paperback, which I guess they sell a lot of paperbacks in the UK. Here in the United States, they come out in hardback first, and then I have to wait like a year before it comes out in paperback, so everybody else has read it, and I'm waiting a year because I want the paperback. It never occurred to me before that I could just order the UK versions in paperback, which means I could reorder the Warcross one in paperback and get the pretty rainbow colors. But that's beside the point. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so then I, like she responded saying, or they responded saying that... Uh, oh, are you in the United States? Like, they don't have a contract with the United States yet, so this can only be purchased from UK websites. And I was like, no, it's cool. Like, I, I found it on Amazon UK. I'm ordering it. It's coming. And it's here. I'm so excited. It's so pretty. I just want to keep staring at it. It's every bit as beautiful in real life as it was in all of the videos I saw of it. Look at the shine see it kind of in shadow. I don't really have shadow. I have like weird shadows going on. The sun is setting as I'm videoing this. So you can see, I'm sorry, you can like see the shadow of my phone stand. That must be weird. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous book and I'm so excited for it. And I will totally show you guys when I'm done spraying it. And hopefully it's just as beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. To, oh, it's so beautiful. Such a beautiful book. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Have a fun day.